welcome to the Sovereign Libertarian with your host Luke. I thought I would do a quarantine workout um, episode this time, which isn't anything new to me since I've had my own weight room for the past three years now. Although I lost a lot of it uh, during my last move and unfortunately the only thing that I was able to keep were my free weights, so you know, it kind of sucks that I lost my Smith machine. All my heavy free weights, like my 45s, my 35s, my 25s, um, my bench, my my actual bench, incline bench, which kind of sucks. Uh, that was adjustable. I had a leg extension machine on there as well. But that's the unfortunate thing about that move is that I lost all my furniture for the most part, with the exception of all my tools and my car and all my art supplies, so all the important stuff I was able to keep. So that other shit I could replace eventually. But losing that Smith machine was kind of a piss off. But oh well, shit happens. So, since I don't have a bench, oh, interesting, it blacked out there for a second. Since I don't have a bench, um, kind of have to be creative with how I work out. Um, I only have free weights, uh, the two adjustable ones. Let's see, there we go. So those down there. So they goes up to about 55 pounds per dumbbell, which for me really isn't that much. I'm used to pushing, especially on incline uh, bench press. I usually do 80s, and I mean, I usually do bench press at two plates a side too. So that's part of the reason why I'm 30 pounds overweight and 15 pounds less muscle mass. So I'm really trying to get my fat ass back down to 145, 150, 150 pounds, and right now I'm probably hovering around 180, which you can see in my fat face, can, uh, some of my older videos, and my car videos, I'm a lot slimmer. Um, still pretty fat in those videos, but slimmer than this. So that's kind of giving me a little bit more motivation to get off my ass and work out, but it's kind of difficult not having a Smith machine, not having cables. Um, not having a bench, especially not having a bench, because there's a lot of things that I can do on a free with free weights on a bench that I really can't do uh, otherwise. Um, right now, I'm having to use my little my little dinky bed because I had to get rid of my queen size bed. Not that a queen size bed would fit in this tiny room. So this is this is pretty much what I've been living out of. Uh, since January, so the first time I've lived in an insured accommodation since I was 27. I'm 41 now, so that's like 14 years ago. Um, so yeah, I'm kind of working out three days a week, uh, although it's kind of been slower. I've been usually working out, I don't know, uh, two days a week, but I've been trying to hit three days a week. Uh, the ultimate goal is to hit four days a week, so three upper body exercises, and I always do a set of for uh, an exercise of abs, which is four sets of usually about 15 to 30 reps. On uh, that, uh, compared to me, use, usually that I used to work out five days a week. So Mondays used to be chest, uh, Tuesdays used to be back, Wednesdays used to be legs, uh, Thursdays used to be arms, and then Fridays used to be shoulders. Now I'm kind of doing a conglomeration of everything, um, fitting that in together. So I've had to really get creative and really had to dig into my brain to see what exercises I can do with the bed and with that chair. So that's what I get to work out on. But I'll show you, I'll show you some of my older clips um, when I was 30 and when I was in my prime and I was pretty in good shape or even around 35, 36. But ever since I started Winterfell in 2015, I've been really neglecting going to the gym on a very long-term, uh, steady, routinely, routine basis. So I've been on a slow decline as far as muscle-wise goes. Is like I said, I used to be able to do rep uh, two sides or uh, two plates a side on bench press, and I used to be able to easily rep that 15, 20 times. So that's 215 pounds repping 15, 20 times for you know a short guy that only weighs 145 pounds and it's only five four. It's pretty good, and I used to do four four sets of that. So, just been trying to get back up, but I'll show you some older pictures of what I used to look like now.
and we're back. Um, what I'm gonna do is that I don't wanna really make this a long lengthy video and I like to play music while I'm working out because it kind of gives me a distraction. That's the, one, of the, one of the biggest things that I like working out um, at my own place is the very fact that, you know, I can go to the washroom anytime I want. It's just down the hall here. I, near the end of my workout, say my last exercise, I can start putting rice on, on the stove or even in between um, sets, I can do some minor cleaning, the minute, minute and a half that I have to rest. Um, in between exercises, I usually take a four to six minute break. So during that time, I might do some gaming. Uh, if I'm doing single online gaming or whatever, I'll do that. So it, there's a lot of perks to working out at home by yourself. And the main perk is you don't have to deal with anyone which is huge for me because I'm quite the introvert. Um, two, you don't have to deal with disgusting gym equipment. And trust me, people don't wash their hands after they come out of the washroom. And the gym equipment, especially at World's Gym, which is a different gym now, used to be friggin' disgusting. So those are two of the main reasons why I don't like working out at gyms anymore and pretty much refuse to work out at the gym. I think actually the last gym I was at was at YMCA uh, downtown Calgary, which is actually one of the cleanest gyms here in Calgary that I've been to since it's been updated. So I was actually quite impressed with that place and it wasn't very busy either. So um, yeah, what I'll end up doing is I'll just do one set of every exercise. So this I'm gonna start out doing, I already did my warm up set, which is just 20 pounds a side. And I usually do three sets of that and um, just to warm up and do some stretches in between. And so I'm going to use the bed uh, with some dumbbells, max them out. I'll do four sets of these, usually around 20 reps each, and uh, move on to the exercise. So let's get on with this. I'll set this guy up as best as I can. <clears throat> this is set number one on the bed. It's actually not too bad, but it's certainly not a bench. But it works. could have done at least five or ten more but I have three more sets to do and I don't want to overdo it. So I'll turn this off, I'll finish this and then I'll get on to the next exercise. All right I got about a minute left here before my next set. Um, my next set is seated, uh, what the hell are they called, back rows I think, it's for your lats. Uh, it's a great exercise, it's a really good mass builder and since I don't have any cables or anything really to pull on it's one of the only, it's one of the very few things that I can do for my back. Uh, with the exception of upright rows using dumbbells and then uh, shoulder shrugs. So I really only have three exercises that I can do for my back at the moment, which kind of sucks. Uh, so yeah, I'll set this up. I always start with my right hand side first. Go on to the left. I'll always try to hit 15 reps. 10 to 15 reps should always be your minimum. Uh, I'd have to get more into muscle gain, gain for your particular body type, but this is what works for me. Yeah, I probably could have done 20, but I still have three more sets to do. All right, I have another about a minute before my next set, 50 seconds. So this is my third exercise, uh, and it's gonna be shoulder shrugs. So I'll set this up and let's get to it. So this, maybe in another video I'll explain what I'm actually doing, but in this video I kinda just wanna show you guys what I'm doing. So again, 50 pounds per side. I'll usually do 20 sets, but I'll usually hold it up for a couple seconds and usually grind it. No rolling of the shoulders. That's just asking for an injury and you don't need to. Uh, 
That's halfway at 10. All right. So we'll do three more exercises of that for 20 sets, and then we'll move on to the next one. Okay, again, I have a minute and five seconds for my next set. Uh, this is, sorry, next exercise. This is um, exercise number four. After the third exercise, um, which at this point I've already had 12 sets at 20 reps each, so that's 240 reps. So at this point I'm really starting to get a good uh, pump on. Um, not as much as what I'm normally used to because I haven't been hitting the gym as much as I should be five days a week. Um, so I'm going to do some arms. So we did some chest. Um, what was the second one? We did some back. Third one, we did shrugs, some more back. I consider shrugs part of your back because your traps are part of your back, not your shoulder muscles. And now we're going to do arms, which is concentration curls. So I'll set this up. And I'm going to do 25 pounds. Well, actually, it's more like with the little handle, it's more like 27.5 pounds. So I'll do that for the first two sets. I usually do 12 reps and then 10 reps. And then the third set is when I drop it down to uh, 20 pounds, which I guess would be 22.5. Because it's called concentration curls for a reason. You're supposed to go slow with them and really supposed to focus on really flexing the muscle to get the maximum muscle development out of that. So let's get this over and done with. First set's done, we have three more to go. And yeah, I'll see you on the fifth and final uh, upper body exercise. Then we'll do an exercise of abs. And yeah. All right, this is the last uh, strength exercise that I'll be doing. Um, what is this? This is tricep uh, kickbacks. So this is the fifth exercise, last one. After this, we'll do uh, some sit-ups. And then yeah. Get this over and done with, yo. All right, this is exercise number six. This would be day number three of this week. The other two days I also did um, upper body exercises. I'll do legs probably tomorrow or on Friday. Um, so yeah, uh, this is like ab crunches with my legs lifted up for extra strain. Uh, this is actually set number two because I'm not sure if the first set recorded. So we'll do this, pump this off quickly. And then after this, I'll be half done this exercise, and then I'll do a sign up. So there we have it. After all this time of me having my own weight room, well, now kind of, I actually finally did a bodybuilding video, which is kind of nice. So that would have been day three of this week for upper body exercises. Um, I still have to do legs this week, and that'll be this week, and then I'll probably start next week on Sunday or Monday. Probably Sunday if I get the will to exercise, because I usually like to get it over and done with. So uh, until my leg workout, I'm going to leave it at that. So I hope you guys enjoyed, uh, but yeah, this is Sovereign Libertarian, signing out. Live. Live.